Hey everybody, it's Anne Marie Beer going on a new video for you guys today. And as you can see in the background, I have my Christmas tree because it's almost Christmas in like a little over a week and I still had to do my shopping, so yeah. But anyway, for today's video, I decided to make decided to make a video based off of anime and the video game industry. And I know you guys are like, why? But anyway. I decided to make this video because I like to play video games just as much as the next person and my nose is running. Oh my god, it's already flu and cold season. <laughs> um, I like to play video games as much as the next person, but um, I also like to play video games based off of my favorite shows. Um, but this got me to thinking, will anime ever fully infiltrate the video game market or video game industry? Now, yes, I know that there are series such as Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and of course the Vocaloid Hatsune Miku, who have been pretty successful when it comes to the video game industry. But it makes me wonder if there will be any other series that will be able to make it, um, to make a big impact, such as those ones, because we all know a lot of people that play, especially the Pokemon games, all the time. Now, I'm mostly talking about the US market, US market because I do know the Japanese market is very different when it comes to video games um, Now in the US I did see at one point a Yu Yu Hakusho game But that was years ago for Game Boy, which I never played but I actually seriously wanted at one point um, And of course I recently seen the Attack on Titan game Which if you checked out my Instagram, I posted a picture of that I did not buy it But I did see it in a Best Buy and then of course you also have the Sword Art Online game but what do you think it would take for anime to make an impact on the market at market if ever? Um, so comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll be honest, for my take on this topic, I kind of think no. And I know that some of you guys as an anime fan are like, oh, that's shocking. You should think that yes, it should. But I'm being realistic and I'm going to go with no just because anime is such a niche market as in the fact that yes, the anime industry has grown a lot over the years so i gotta say no now i mostly say no compared to traditional hear me out traditional gaming such as on xbox ps4 um game boys things like that things are bigger systems or smaller systems if you have a game boy but those markets now the ios market and android market for video games such as on cell phones i think they might be able to infiltrate a little bit more because it's a lot easier coming with an app and marketed in an app store than it is to you know come out with a whole game that's sold in stores and is for a particular you know model or box or console that's my thinking it's mostly just because like i said before anime is such a niche market but it would be awesome if there were more but like i said again i think that because gaming is changing this might also change and this is mostly because you have series like pokemon go that like blew up when it came out um a bleach has its ios game app um i think there's also a lot of other animes that have you know ios games out there for people to play there's rpgs out on ios game systems there's also a whole bunch of those um i play them sometimes the little uh sims where you choose the uh the otome games That's the, word I'm looking for. the otome games where you get to choose like what your character says next and it changes the complete storyline Things like that are becoming very popular on iOS games. So do I think anime can infiltrate the video game market? Yes and no. No for traditional gaming, but yes for this new revolutionized version of gaming that we're seeing with cell phones because now it's a lot easier for people to get their hands on those games and it's a hell of a lot cheaper compared to like buying a $600 system when you could just buy a $600 phone and it serves not $600 phone. This one. Um, but it's not just a phone, not just for gaming. You can use it for a phone or books or reading or whatever it is. And that's probably a lot more of an investment compared to a console. Not saying I don't like console gaming because I still do, but yeah, that's just what I think. Now, once again, this is mostly, mostly 
based off of the US market. The US market, so if I hear anyone saying the Japanese market's like this, I know. The Japanese market is very, very different when it comes to video gaming and as is the US market. The same with television shows. You have anime that are in Japan that will probably never really see the light of day over here in the US because it's not popular over here, but it's popular over there. Or, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to marketing and marketing stuff for, for us over here. So yes, that is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the US market and what I've noticed over here, not in other places. So if, but if you're somewhere else, let me know and let me know what the video game market is over there because the same with anime in other places, some places they're like, we can't get a hold of this because it's not popular and we're not able to get a hold of it and things like that. So yeah, if you're living somewhere else, like you know Australia, England, anywhere, let me know and comment down below on what that industry looks like when it comes to video gaming. And But once again, for me, I'm talking about the US, I'm not talking about anywhere else, just what I've noticed here. So like I mentioned, I say yes and no. Yes for like new gaming like iOS, but no for traditional gaming just because anime is such a niche market and it'll be kind of hard to market a video game for anime fans unless the anime itself is very popular like Pokemon. Dragon Ball Z and Naruto. Those games are popular because the shows are popular and they know that people will buy those games to play their favorite character. But if you have a video game for, I don't know, what's a show that's not, that's mostly only us anime fans are gonna know, like a, a Haikyuu game or Prince of Tennis, we'll play it because we're like, oh, I love that show. But other people are gonna be like, what the hell is this game? I don't get it. But anyway, that's my topic for today. Comment down, down? Comment down below on what you guys think of this topic. And yeah, I want to know more what you guys think. And let me know what you guys like me to see next. Because I think next, I'm not going to have an anime review, but an anime first impressions on a show that I'm going to watch. And I can't think of the title on top of my head right now because it's like almost 8 o'clock in the morning. And yeah. So yeah, of course, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already hit that subscribe button on down below somewhere. And of course, um, check out all my um, social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and of course, my anime blog, which I do post on there as frequently as I can. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Saturday with a new video. Bye. Bye, you guys.